And now, a Zone in 91.3, 91 second movie review. Five, four, three, two, and action! In this adaptation of the novel by Nella Larson, passing stars Tessa Thompson as Irene, a black woman in 1920s New York who reconnects with a childhood friend and discovers she's been passing as white. Ruth Nega plays said friend Claire in a truly captivating and Oscar-worthy performance. We learn early on that Claire is married to a fairly racist white man played by Alexander Skarsgård, who straight up tells Irene that he doesn't dislike Negroes, he hates them. This sets up a delicate tension that feels like at any moment Claire's world could come crashing down like a Jenga tower. Now, you should know that the film is far from a casual watch. Its pace is not the fastest and the subject matter not the easiest to digest. But those who can appreciate an artsy film or two will agree that Rebecca Hall is absolutely absolutely brilliant in her directorial debut. She manages to create a masterpiece of a backdrop upon which her actors fabricate such emotional unrest. The entire film is shot in black and white using a square aspect ratio giving you a genuine feel that you're watching a classic movie from the 1920s. Even details within the sound mixing is quite spot on with background ambiance mixed in as if older recording devices were used during production. The messaging behind the film is quite powerful as it addresses racism but doesn't preach to its audience. The conversations surrounding race within certain scenes are without a doubt uncomfortable, but I find that a lot of the discomfort comes from the fact that much of the messaging is relevant today. While I can admit that this is not a movie I can ever see myself revisiting, passing did cause the gears in my head to turn and turn far beyond my watch, which is a major credit to the execution of the filmmakers and the actors. Cut! That's a wrap!